Hello everyone, welcome to the revamp of my discord.py series. In this new series, I'm going to be going over things in more detail as well as better ways to do things, as I've learned a lot in the past year since my last discord.py series. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, unless you want to be like the 86% of nerds watching that aren't subscribed. Anyways, back to the video. To start off, we're going to need to install a few things. You will need to install Python if you have not already. To do this, simply go to python.org, click downloads, and I recommend just getting the latest. Once you've installed Python, we're going to need something to edit our code with. In this series, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. To get Visual Studio Code, just go to code.visualstudio.com and download the latest stable build. Once you've had that installed, you're ready to move on to the next step. Now you'll want to create a folder somewhere and open it in Visual Studio Code or whatever other editing software you're going to be using. In Visual Studio Code, you can use the built-in terminal by going to Terminal and pressing New Terminal. Once you have Terminal opened, if you're on Windows, you'll want to type in py minus 3 space minus m space pip space install space minus capital U space discord.py. This will install discord.py so that we can use it. Now let's make a bot user. Go to discord.com slash developers and under applications, click new application. Give it a name and make the team personal. Once you click new application, you can rename it whatever you want and give it a picture. Once you've got it named and a picture to go with it, go to bot and click add bot. A prompt will appear and you just need to press yes, do it. Now in this, you will need to click copy under where it says token. This token is what allows you to turn the bot on. Now let's invite the bot. Click on OAuth2 right above where you selected bot. Select the bot box, scroll down, and we will just select the administrator box. Then simply copy the link and add the bot to your server. Now let's get to the coding. Go back to your Visual Studio code and create a Python file. It can be called whatever you want. I'm going to make mine bot.py just to make it simple. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is import Discord and Asyncio, just like this shown. After that, we want to define bot. This can be named whatever you want as well. I'm just going to make it bot to keep it simple. Now to define bot, you're going to want to do bot equals commands.bot with a capital B, command prefix equals, and then put whatever prefix you want. And we're also going to do case insensitive equals true. That will allow commands to work whether they're in caps locks or not. Now let's make our onReady event. To make an event in the main file, you will want to do at bot.event and then async def onReady. That's for the onReady event. Now we're just going to print a few things here to tell us when the bot is fully online and ready. And finally, we will do return await bot.changePresence and then we're going to set the activity to watching. This will make the bot have a status when it's online. Finally, let's make a simple ping command. To make a command in the main file, you will want to do at bot.command, then async def your command name and we'll use ctx here. Now ctx is grabbing all the info from the user and the channel that the command was used in. So if we want to send a message back to the user, we will just do await ctx.send and then a message in there. I'm just going to put pong. ctx send will send the message to the channel that the command was used in. Now let's start the bot up. At the end of your file, you will need to do bot.run and then that token we had earlier. Mine shown here is a little different so that you can't use my token. Now make sure you save your file and go back to your terminal. Then do py your file name, .py, and this will turn on your bot. 
and keep it on until the terminal is closed or you cancel out the file. For those of you that sticked around till the end, thank you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this new revamp episode of the discord.py series. Uh, there will be many more to come. Um, let me know how you think about how I did this video compared to my usual videos. I tried to kind of plan this one out a little bit better than my usual ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.